Hi everyone, so this is the last lesson so for the differentiation two pack. And we're kind of going back to the start. This is first principles. So it's kind of building on the idea that the gradient of a tangent is just a gradient. It's just a change going up divided by a change going across. So like if you look at this, if I work out the gradient between these two points, so the change in y will be 4 take 1, then 2, and the change in x will be then 2. So that would give me a gradient of 3. There. Now look at this, it's the same start point, but what I've done is I've moved this point closer to it to get a better approximation for the gradient of the tangent. Because that's not really a gradient and a tangent there, is it? It's miles out. Whereas here, it's a little bit better. So it's going there. So let's have a look at this. So if I do a change in y, so 1.21 minus 1, over the change in x, 1.1 minus 1. So m is 0 0.21 over 0 0.1. If you remember from GCSE, dividing by 0 0.1 is the same as times it by 10. So that now gives me a better gradient of a tangent. It's now 2.1. And what I'm going to do, the idea with this, is I just continue to bring that point close to the other one. So I get to a point where it looks like I'm on top of it, but I'm not. But the distance between them is so small but with the best microscope in the world, you can't tell the difference. But there is still a distance there. Right, so we've got a table we can do. Now this table, we've never really done before, but it popped up on one of the AS pages, the new AS pages. Right, so I'm using y equals x squared, which you might not have realised. So I'm using y equals x squared. So if I put 2 in, my y value is 4. If I put 1.1 in, I get 1.21 out. There. If I put 1.01 in, I get 1.0201. If I get, what we put in now, if I put 1.001 in, I get 1.00. I quite like the way that the numbers go. Right, now then, so I'm doing it against that point there. So the change in x will be 2 take 1, that one, which is 1. The change in x will be 1.1 1 .1 take 1, it's not point 1. The change in x will be 1.01 1 .01 take 1. And then 1.0, 0, 0, 1, take 1. Uh, so I'm doing the grade. What I'm doing is, there's my fixed point, and I'm moving it from 2 all the way down and getting closer, working out the gradients. Messy as it might be, so the change in y, so that'll be the 4, take away the 1, is 3. But this will be 1.21, take away the 1, which is 0 0.21. And then if I do the same, if I take one off each of these, I've got 0 0.0201, 0 0.0201, 0 0.0201. So these are doing from this point, 1, 1, all the way from that point we had up there, which was 2, 4. We're working out the gradient there, and then we're going to move it to 2.1, to, to 1.1, then we're going to move it to 1.01, then we're going to move it to 1.001. So I'm moving the point down the curve to make it closer. Now the gradient of the chord, remember, is just the change in y over the change in x. So this one will be 3 divided by 1. Is 3, which we've worked out earlier. That's a top example. And then I've got 0 0.21 divided by 0 0.1, which is 2.1, which is this one here. So I've done both of these 
gradients, and now I'm going to look at the next one. So it's 0 0.0201. So I don't think I'm going to write this. Divided by 0 0.001. Oh, God. oh, I've got too many noughts there. Ah. Hang on, I've got too many noughts. Got it? There. So with the 0 0.01, it's the same as times in by 100, so that'll give me 2.01. There. And with this next one, if I divide the 0 0.01, 0 0.2, 0 0.001 by 0 0.001. So multiply by 1,000, I get 2.001. So as you can tell, these values here are aiming towards a gradient of 2. Aiming towards 2. Yeah. So it says we can come there. So if you think about it though, if I've got y equals x squared, if I differentiate it, it's 2x, and then at x is 1, dy by dx is 2 lots of 1. So it works, doesn't it, right there? So all I'm doing is pulling the number down, pulling the point closer to it. There. Now there's a question for you on the next page, which I want you to have a go at. Uh, and I'm going to end the video there, so you're going to do that question for you.